out this. Okay. Let us finish our percentage composition once again, uh, Abdul. Hope you don't mind. Because after that only I can go to the other part. Percentage composition. The amount of an element present in 100 units of that substance is called percentage composition. Percentage composition is calculated based upon the molecular formula of that substance. Sometimes the percentage composition is calculated based upon the data given. Okay. So, first percentage composition based upon chemical formula. composition based upon chemical formula. Now here, formula is percentage composition equal to of an element equal to Atomicity multiplied by atomic mass divided by molecular formula, sorry, molecular mass based on formula. Whole thing multiplied by multiplied by hundred. So this is how we calculate the percentage combination. For example, N two O five percentage nitrogen. Atomicity of nitrogen here two. Atomic mass fourteen divided by twenty eight plus eighty by eighty. You know it. Whole thing multiplied by hundred. 28 divided by 108 multiplied by 100 is equal to percentage of nitrogen. Find out how much is the value. Find out how much is the value. 
So again, what is the answer? 28 divided by 108. This is going to be equal to 25.925 percent. Nine two five nine. Correct. Is that okay? Rehan. Yes, sir. I hope Rehan, you are understood. Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. See, now when we do the same thing again, it becomes much more clearer. Yes, sir. Now, percentage of oxygen. Let us calculate it again. Percentage oxygen. Five. Multiplied by 16. Divided by 108 into 100. That is going to 80. Divided by 108 into 100. Find out. I can say approximately 74 percent. Because the previous one was approximately equal to 26%. So here, calculate it. Calculate how much? 24.075. And 74.075. 74.075. No, seven, no, it cannot be like that, no? Let me see. Yes, sir, same. Okay, 80 divided by 108. Yeah, 74.07, correct. You're right. Right? Right? Approximately 74. Because this is 26%. This has to be 74%. I hope it's clear. Rakshit. I was just doing here percentage composition. Okay, sir. Yes. Sir. Percentage composition is a one of the uses of law of constant proportion. One of the uses of law of constant proportion is this. Can I delete? Please take a screenshot, Rakshit. Because yes, yes, you missed this part and I cannot write it for a long time again. I may have to go for the next part. Uh, yes, sir. Great. Yes, sir. Uses. Chemical formula is fixed. Percentage composition is fixed. And we can determine the formula from the masses given. 
So, use, you remember, in the previous classes I said chemical formula is fixed. Today we said percentage composition is fixed. Example we took. Go ahead, delete. I go for examples. Example one I given. Now write down. One more example. Calculate percentage composition of each aluminum uh, each element in aluminium sulfate. Magnesium chloride and magnesium oxide. Formula percentage of the element is equal to atomicity in the formula multiplied by atomic mass divided by molecular mass multiplied by 100. Already you got the screenshot, see that. And now aluminium atomic mass 27, oxygen 16, magnesium 24, sulfur 30. Do it. All in unified mass. Do it. Ayush? Yes, sir. Yes, Ayush. Yes, uh, actually, I had gone now. So. Ah, sir. Huh? Yes, sir, I had gone out. Sir. You are now staying where? Where are you staying? Sir, Abu Dhabi, Musafa. Abu Dhabi, Musafa. I I Rashid, Rehan, and you. I missed you people in the class yesterday. And in fact, Rehan was not there in day four yesterday's class also. Sir, I was not there, sir. Okay, you were there. Rashid was not there. Uh, sir, I was on day one of the class. One of the class, you were not there. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, there. now, this is the find out percentage composition. Can you do it? All of you? Yes, sir. Should I wait or should I do? So wait, sir. I'll, I'll try it. Rashid, apna mo photo dikha apna shakal dikha. Rehan, tum bhi shakal pura camera on kar ke rakho. Hmm. Rakshat, kya hua? Uh, Camera kya hua? Kya So actually, I was not, I was absent, so I don't know. So this is percentage composition. Okay. In the beginning, also, I said 
you can write down percentage composition means else about the amount of that element present in 100 gra 100 units or grams of that substance it is calculated from number one data given or number two from molecular formula given and this is equal to percentage of element is equal to I can say now number of atoms of that element in the formula multiplied by atomic mass whole thing divided by molar mass of that compound from the formula given whole thing multiplied by 100 okay yes sir this is the formula so this is the formula i've given here either you write number of atoms of that element present or atomic in that formula I have given you here the atomic mass values. Shall I delete this last part of it? Arsh? Yes, sir. I noted it down. Wait. Yes, sir. Using the answer now. Percentage of aluminum. How much aluminum is there? Two. Atomic mass, 27. Molecular mass. Two into 27. Plus 3 into 32 plus 16 into 12. How much? 342. Yes. 342 into 100. 54 by 342 into 100. Answer how much? Uh, 15.1. Uh, 15.1. I am not able to hear you properly. 15.1. 15.1. Fifteen point how much? Fifteen point seven. No, fifteen point seven eight nine. I'm asking. I'm getting. 
I'm getting the answer as 15.789. That is approximately equal to 15.8%. So now, percentage of sulfur, 96 by 342 into 100. Percentage of oxygen, 12 into 16, divided by 342 into 100. Answer. So here, sulfur is Sulfur, right? Next. Yes. I hope you understood. Done next. Magnesium 24, 71, 95. Percentage magnesium 24 by 95 into 100. Percentage chlorine 71 by 95 into 100. Here, 24 plus 16, 40. So, percentage magnesium. Sir, 60%. 24, 24 by 40 into 100. Yes, you are right, 60%. Percentage oxygen. 40%. Right. I'm going to send you today, I'll send it to Math IIT, the questions till this portion today. And I would like all of you people to solve it and send it to sir. And he will send it to me. I'll check it out. Okay. Okay, sir. Go ahead. Can you go for the next one? Percentage yes, condition over. Done? Yes, sir. Sir, which, okay. sir? Rehan, Rakshit? Yes, sir. Done, sir. Sir, sir who should be sending it? Uh, to sir. This sir who is there. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, this sir who okay. is there. That's sir. Okay. Now, next, I'm deleting it. Coming to the next part, which is what is called as empirical formula and molecular formula. I'm going to go for empirical formula and molecular formula. What is empirical formula? Write down. Empirical formula is write down. Empirical formula is the simplest formula 
of the compound. The simplest formula of the compound is called empirical formula. Like, tell me what is the formula for molecular formula of benzene? C6. C6H6. What is the simplest formula? CH. This is called empirical formula. This is molecular formula. Okay. Next. C2H8 is molecular formula. What is the simplest formula? CH4. This is called empirical formula. Okay. C6H12. O2 is molecular formula. What will be empirical formula? C 3 H 4 O is empirical formula. Okay. What is empirical formula? And what is molecular formula? Simplest formula. From empirical formula, how do I get molecular formula? Now, N, there is a term called as N, which is equal to molecular weight divided by empirical weight and molecular formula. Uh, sir, for C6H2O2, sir, Pardon? C3H4 or H6? Sir, C6H6, sir. H6, sorry. I made a mistake in my calculation. C3H6O. Molecular formula is equal to N times empirical formula. For example, 6 times CH. 2 times CH4. 2 times C3H6. Molecular Right? Yes, sir. Iske steps kya kya hote hain? Ye steps ko likhna mat samajhna bas. Main jo steps likha raha hoon bhi samajhna bas. Kya? Ye dekho. The percentage quantitative analysis is given. From the percentage get the atomic ratio. How? Before that, tell me, students. Supposing I have C is to H by mass ratio is equal to ratio <laughs> is equal to three is to one by mass. I want to find out the formula. So I should know the ratio by atoms. By atoms. By atoms, how do I find out? Remember, carbon atomic weight is 12. 
and hydrogen atomic weight is equal to 1. And remember I told you, 12U means 1 atom of carbon. There were 3U means how many atoms? 1 by 12 into 3 is equal to 1 by 4 atoms. Yes or no? That is nothing but 3 by 12. 3 by 12 is nothing but what? Amount divided by atomic mass is equal to number of atoms. Yes or no? Ayush, any problem? No, sir, sir, can you please repeat? I said 12 U means one atom. Yes, sir. So 3 U means how many atoms? 3 by 12? Yes, sir. 3 by 12 is nothing but weight by atomic mass? Yes, sir. Because 3 is the weight, no? Ratio by mass. 3 is to 1 part. 3 parts means by mass. Mass means weight. Raksha. Yes, sir. Ratio by mass means 3 parts in grams combining with one part by weight or in grams of hydrogen. 12 part by weight means one atom. So three parts means how many atoms? Three by 12. Three by 12 is nothing but weight upon atomic mass. So I can write here. Three by 12. What is the atomic weight of hydrogen? One. So, number of atoms of hydrogen is equal to weight of hydrogen divided by atomic mass of hydrogen, which is equal to 1 by 1. Answer. Right or wrong? Yes, sir. Answer. Right, sir. Sure. Understood or not understood? Yes, understood. Who all have understood? Abdul. Anshul, remember yesterday. Oh, okay, you understood. Okay. So I can write here one by one. So ratio by atom is equal to one by four is to one by four. So one by one. That is nothing but 0 0.25 is to one. Or I multiply both sides by four. If I multiply both sides by 4, 1 by 4 into 4 is to 1 by 1 into 4. Which is nothing but 1 is to 4. So number of atoms is what? C1H4. So this is nothing but CH4 is the formula. Which I can call it as empirical formula or molecular formula. Whatever be the case. Understood? All of you? So yes, can I delete this part if you say? Sir, I didn't understand the last part like query multiply. But can one by four atoms? Yes. Be yes there? Sir, but multiply anything. No, one by four is a, is a fraction, isn't it? Yes. So can atoms be in fractions or in whole number? Whole number. So I multiply by 4 pieces because of oh, okay. Okay. Got it? Or if I say carbon is to hydrogen is 0 0.25 is to 1. I divide both sides by 0 0.25. 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.25 is to 1 by 0 0.25. This is nothing but 1. 1 by 0 0.25 is nothing but 100 by 25. 100 by 25 is nothing but equal to 4. So 1 is to 4. That means divide by the smallest number. Out of 1 and 0 0.25, which is the smallest number? 0 0.25. I divide by 0 0.25. Why? Uh, sir. Uh. Sir, uh, in the first, like first 
half of the uh, equation. From where hmm. did you get uh, three? Three. Yes, sir. Like, I told you. Was... I told you. I just gave it as an example. Supposing carbon and hydrogen are combining in the ratio three is to one by mass. Supposing I said. Okay, sir. Supposing I said. Understood. Yes, sir. Rakshad, got it. Yes, understood. Can I delete now? Yes, yes sir. So the second step is nothing but saying that we are dividing the percentage by atomic mass. Percentage by atomic mass. I say percentage of each element is divided by its atomic mass. What is the third step? Divide the ratio by the smallest value. Remember, just now, out of 0 0.25 is to 1, which is the value? Out of C is to H by atoms, I got 0 0.25 is to 1, no? Yes, sir. Okay, I divide by the smallest number. Yes, sir. Size. I got 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.25 is to 1 by 0 0.25 that my is I got 1 is to 4 yes, yes or no yes. why yes. am I dividing it means so because uh, the element cannot exist as in a fraction that is one that is one I just now got carbon is to hydrogen as 0 0.25 is to 1 if if 0 0.25 is equal to 1 then 1 will be equal to how much? 1 by 0 0.25. That means I am taking this as the base value. Okay. If 0 0.25 is equal to 1, then 1 is equal to 1 by 0 0.25. So 1 divided by 1 is 0 0.25. Which is nothing but going to be equal to what? 4. So I got this to so assume that the smallest value is equal to 1 and find the other values, which is called as relative number of atoms. From the relative number of atoms, we get empirical formula. I get the empirical formula. From the empirical formula, I get empirical weight. And I told you, empirical weight is there, molecular weight is there. You can find out the formulas. I just now showed, isn't it? Molecular weight divided by empirical weight is equal to N. So let us do one question. Then one by one, things will be clear. Okay. I have given you this. Calculate the empirical formula. Use this table. Draw this table. Whenever percentages are given, draw this table and do the question. What are the elements here? What are the elements here? Potassium. So potassium, chromium, and oxygen. Chromium and oxygen. Percentage 26.6, 35.4, Atomic mass 39, 52. 16. Number of atoms. Number of atoms means percentage divided by atomic mass. Calculate the value.
I am not asking the final answer. One by one. 26.6 divided by 39. Value. 68.2. Sorry, 0 0.682. Next, 35.4 divided by 52. Thirty five point four divided by fifty. Again zero point six eight zero. Then thirty eight point one divided by sixteen. Two point three eight. Now the simplest ratio means divided by smallest value. 0 0.68 divided by 0 0.68 0. Approximately equal to 1. This is also equal to what? 0 0.680 0. divided by 0 0.680 0. equal to 1. Here 2.38 divided by 0 0.68. What is the value? Ayush. 2.38 2.38 divided by 0 0.68 3.5 Never 5 to be equal to 4. What do we do? For simplest ratio. If it is 1.1 1 .1, So multiply by 2 Huh? Multiply with 2. Yes, that's right. Another one. 1 1.2 equal to 1. If it is 1.3, multiplied by 3. 3.9. Then everything has to be multiplied by 3. 1.4, then multiplied by 2, equal to 2.8. If it is 1.5, multiplied by 2, equal to 3. If it is 1.6 multiplied by 2 equal to 3.2, approximately equal to 3. 1.7 multiplied by 3, that is equal to 5.1, approximately equal to 5. Okay. Or another one. You can take it equal to 1.8, approximately equal to 1. 1.9. Approximately equal to, sorry, 1.8 equal to 2. This is also equal to 2. So that One means I should two. multiply by 2. If I multiply by 2, it becomes 2. Here also I multiply by 2, it becomes 2. Here I multiply by 2, it becomes 7. Therefore, formula becomes K2, CR2, O7. Empirical form. Uh, sir, yeah. So with the number uh, one point three, um, is it like can we calculate it with can we multiply it with two? Which one? Uh, that one point three, sir. Like one point three, no. Two point six, it becomes no. Wherever it is point five, multiplied by two. Wherever it is point six, multiplied by two. Yes, sir. So we should not get in point five. We should not get in point three. We should not get in point four. See, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. We should multiply with a certain number to get a whole number back. Approximate whole number back. You get yes, it? If it is 0 0.3, multiply by 3. 0 0.4, multiply by 2. Everything. 0 0.5, multiply by 2. 
Can I delete? Yes, sir. All the students, can I delete? Yes, sir. I'm deleting. One, two, three, four, five. Delete now? Yes. Correct. Next question. CRK to CR to seven more the question. Answer. Next question. Do this. Now I'm not going to draw the table. The same table which I drew just now, you are going to draw the table. One column, I missed it. You have to write that column. Remember, in the same manner as you did. Number of atoms, simplest ratio, and then simplest whole number ratio. Oxygen, yes, carbon, and hydrogen. Done. Compound formula. I have not yet started molecular formula. I am just copying it at empirical formula. Yeah, students, please check. Empirical formula. C2H6O. How many of you got it?
with smallest value 2.17 divided by that. Can go to the next question? Do this. Monica mass is given. I want Monica formula also. And I told you for this, n is equal to Monica weight divided by empirical weight and molecular formula equal to n times empirical formula and he is saying here 50 percent by mass each and there is only carbon and head oxygen 50 percent each how many of you got the previous question answer c 2 h 6 o Nobody. Nobody got it. Rakshat. Uh, th sir, I was doing it, sir, but then uh, answer should in okay. between. Okay. But my, 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 my steps. So. Okay, okay. Now you got it? the mistake? Uh, no, sir, there was no mistake. Like the answer was shown in the middle of my calculations. But so okay. far, so. But otherwise. You understood or not understood? Yes, I understood. Raksh, uh, Ayush? Sir, I was dividing and checking. And oh. So I was a little bit impatient in giving the answers. Okay. Question very much. Okay. I'll send it to them and they will get it typed and send it by tomorrow afternoon.
the first do till empirical formula. And that's equal to ten point three five. Can we do? Sir, we don't know an amount. One minute. I multiply by three. Three. Multiply by three. Four. So C three. Sorry. C four. O three. How many of you got C four O three? Uh, no, sir. Uh, I'm asking, sir. We don't know number of atoms. How to three? Number of atoms. I delete the question. So I take here function equal to fifty. 12, 16, 50 by 12, 50 by 16. What is 50 by 12 equal to? Yeah. 2 point. Yes. Do it. 2 point. Fifty by twelve. How much? Sir, so four point three. Yes, four point one six six seven. Then fifty by sixteen. Sir, so three point one. Three point one two five. Three point one two five. So now four point one six six. Divided by smallest number, 3.125. 3.125 divided by 3.125 is equal to 1 and this is equal to 4.166 divided by 3.125. That is nothing but equal to approximately 1.33. So wherever 1.33, I told you, you should multiply by what? 3. If I multiply this with 3, I should multiply this also with 3. This will become 3 and this will be 5, 4. So the formula becomes C4, O3. This is empirical formula. Now empirical weight. Empirical weight. 4 into 12 plus 3 into 16. This is nothing but equal to 48 plus 48, 96. Molecular weight is equal to how much? 90. Sorry, 290. So molecular weight divided by empirical weight, 290 by 96. How much? 96. How much?
C4 C12 O 9 molecular formula C4 C12 O9 these are called as carbon suboxides carbon suboxides they are cyclic compounds Can I delete and show you the whole working again? Here, yeah. the working. It should be C four X three. Let me correct here. What is the mistake in the type? Three. Oxygen three. C4, O3, Margavit, C12, O9. You got it all of you. So with this, we finish off empirical formula and molecular formula. Ayush, did you understand? Yes, sir. Nihan? Yes, sir. Fully? Fully? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rakshat? Yes, sir. 